There's no way to know for sure what an AI is going to do. That's because the AI is trained, not programmed. Normally, you'd add some safety on top to catch any unexpected outputs, but we're not going to do that today. Today, we're going to take Frank the Tank with a Lazy Boy on top, remove all of the safety systems and hop on. Then we're going to train two different AIs to drive it around on its own. Whichever AI is the most promising and least unsafe, that one's going to take us out for a ride in the real world. Compare the different control techniques, we're going to run them through an obstacle course and time them. Since we're running AI, we're going to be using a Jetson Orin AGX. This is a small computer that's built for robotics AI. It's voice activated, but you know, everything's voice activated these days. What? Voice control sounds really simple, but what actually is it and how does it work? And are we even able to use it to drive around a robot? For the voice control, we're going to use a transformer network. This is the current hotness in AI. So hot right now. A transformer is a network that will take a stream of information and understand how the different pieces of it will connect together. This could be individual words in a sentence, or it could be different bits in an audio stream. This is how something like ChatGPT can start referencing things that you said earlier in the conversation. To start giving the robot commands with my own voice, I need to write a small program that will send audio from my super sexy telemarketer headset into Riva, which will transcribe that back into text. Once we have that text, we just map it to a velocity and send it to Frank. The speech recognition even works well for my wife, and English is technically her second language. Es ist ein schöner Herbst da. Oh, es ist sonnig draußen, es ist warm. Right, medium, left, right, right, straight, left. Object recognition is a really common use for AI, but it's usually things like detecting cars or fruits, not directing a robot around with your hands. So how do we take an object recognition AI and turn that into a robot controller? A convolutional neural network is what's used for object detection. We're going to use a special style of it called a YOLO network. As an image is processed, the network does what are called convolutions. This will take areas of the image and pull out specific features. These could be things like shadows, edges, bright or dark colors, anything. Which features the network is looking for is discovered by the network as it's training. I mounted a webcam on Frank and this will be the source of our images. We need to show the AI examples of what we want it to look for. RoboFlow is my go-to for doing stuff like this. They even have tools that automate the annotation once you get going. Once we have a list of all the commands that the AI saw, we just map that to a velocity and send it to Frank.
Hand control didn't really work very well, but voice control was actually pretty close to how good I am with a normal controller, and I've been using one of those for decades. So now that I can drive it around hands-free, let's go take it for a little spin. I don't see any mention of Lazy Boys. Hi, uh, can I get a sausage and egg with muffin meal with a black coffee? Robots are awesome. Thanks for watching. See you next time.